Hi y'all. This is Rhonda with Rhonda Tonneson Acrylics and Clocks. This is my seventh video. And yes, I still get very nervous. I don't know how long that stuff's going to last. Surely, I'll get more comfortable as time goes. But, this is my clock that we made in my last video. I get these from Bear Woods Supply. There's a link in the description with a coupon code. If you use code RONDA, you'll get 5% off your total purchase. You can get these in 12 inch, 16 inch, and 20 inch. I prefer the 20 inch because you can fit a lot more pretty colors and designs on it. Um, if you'll go back and watch my last video, I show you the metal ticks that goes in these slots and I also show you how to avoid messing your design up when you blow the paint over these holes. I uh, figured something out to do that. What we're doing today is we're going to attach this to the bottom part. I have the bottom part taped. I don't have this part taped because it's going to go glued down and you won't be able to see it anyway. And then the next video after this, um, I'll have the resin on it and I'll show you how to assemble it. So, what we do first... I use Gorilla Glue, wood glue. You can also use uh, resin if you want to attach these two parts. And I've got my gloves on. You know what? I think it might just be quicker if I do this. And then you rub it in. I'm still figuring out how to edit my videos. I just gave my studio um, a makeover and installed some storage shelves, which uh, has had me really busy. I also have a Facebook group acrylic pouring and other forms of art sellers group and I'll put a link down below for my Facebook group too and you want to make sure that you have this around the edges too because the edges are really important you don't want a lot of it on there, though, because you don't want it to um, go through those slots and come up through the slots and mess up your design. I have painted the side of this one here with the same gray that the top piece is painted with. And then I still have some of the gray left because it was a custom color. So, and when you make custom colors, it's hard to make it again. So, always save a little bit for touch-ups. Just a little bit more. You won't these pieces to stick together really good. Make sure every bit of it's covered. I want just a little bit more. Okay.
I haven't got music for my channel yet, but I'm working on it. As I told you, I've been really busy. Plus, I got chickens and three Rottweilers. I'm taking my gloves off. Okay. Now, this is my painting. You want to put it on top of that. And you got to make sure that it's even. And then you go around and press it down. Okay. There we go. This is called glassine paper. I get it by the rolls on Amazon. And I'm still figuring out how to get links put down below too. In the description. My other videos were, uh, someone brought to my attention that they were little. See, and I told, as y'all know, I'm new, so, to uh, making videos. I'm not new to painting, I'm new to making videos. And someone told me to put the camera sideways, and that my videos would fill the screen. And I hope that works. Anyhow, I put the glassine paper over my design. And this right here is also some 20 inch uh, cradled wooden panels that I use for my clocks. I like to use these too to make clocks. You can get these on Amazon. But I turn it upside down like this. You don't want anything that's got, that's raised or any kind of design or anything that's going to put indentions into your paint. You want something that's totally flat. And then I put it on top of there. It's exactly 20 inches too. And then you weigh it down. That's all you do. First of all, you want to go around and make sure your clock is still even the top part with the bottom part. You can go around and you can just really you can feel with your fingers. Okay, it's even. And then you want this one even. What I use is gallons of paint. Put one on this side, and I put one on this side, and it's sliding around. I will have to fix that. There we go. <clears throat> what? No, that ain't what I did. I told y'all I'm nervous. I put this. It's just a piece of wood. And then I set lots of weight on top of it. And last but not least, a 10 pound weight. Right in the center. <sighs> okay. And you go around and feel and make sure that it's even. There it is.
Okay. <sighs> See, that didn't take long. And we will see what, and actually on the other end of my table down here, you can see that I'm set up right there. I'm set up to do a painting. And that will be in the next video too. This is one of my clocks. This was made from a record. Just a record album. And you can't see the label or the rings because I use my sander and I sand these before I use them. Because if you don't, you'll see the rings and the label and the record. Some people like that look. I've got a few that I've made that where you can see that stuff. And I get these colored hands uh, from Etsy. Um, I'm not sure of the name of the company. I'll find that out and I'll put it in the description too. They're a little costly though. But I think they're worth it. Here is, this is from the video, our last, my last video. Show you a finished picture. I, I should have done that before I put all this stuff here because you can't hardly see it. Everything's in my way. But yeah, it's already been resin. I use KS resin. But yeah, that's from the last video. And I want to show y'all. what I'm going to do in my next painting. This painting has been purchased after this video that I'm fixing to make. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up and ship it. This has been one of my most popular paintings here. And I've been wanting to recreate it. Well, I couldn't remember the colors. And I knew that I had written them down, but I couldn't find it. And I told y'all that I just recently overhauled my studio and cleaned it up real good and put shelving in it. And I found my notepad right here. Ah. And I'll share the colors when I do the video. I will share the colors so someone else may want to try it. But yeah, I'll ship that after I make my video. I'm going to try to recreate it. I wanted to show y'all one of these clocks finished too. From Bearwood. Right here. This one has, the one that we're working on here is going to have silver hands and silver ticks. This one has gold, but that's what they look like when you're finished. Bear Woods Supply. Coupon code Rhonda, you get 5% off in the description. Alrighty, there she is. And we're going to see how this one here turns out in the next video. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry I still get so nervous. Y'all bear with me. I'm learning how to do videos, too. It's not as easy as it seems. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good day. Have Happy painting. Bye.